Hello, and welcome to this course on email marketing with Clavio. I'm Andrew, and I work with the Shopify partner agency, Electric Eye. At our agency, we create Shopify-powered sales machines through strategic design, development, and marketing. We partner exclusively with Clavio as an email marketing solution. This course is meant to demonstrate how to approach setting up Clavio from an agency perspective. Rather than letting you try to fumble through the process, we have dozens of successful account setups under our belt to offer our unique insights and guide you along the way. Clavio has relatively recently expanded features in SMS marketing, but for the scope of this course, we are primarily focused on email. Also, being as it is that we are an agency that works exclusively with Shopify, that also will be reflected in the focus of this course. Here in this first lesson, we're just getting started and learning the best way to get you prepared for the rest of this course. In lesson two, we'll cover account registration, migrating from another email service provider, and integrations. Lesson three, we'll discuss best practices around email templates for deliverability, consistent branding, and gain efficiencies. Next, we'll move on to the automated customer journey with signup forms and flows for lesson four. This is an area where Clavio truly shines and shows just how powerful it can be. In lesson five, we'll be tackling campaign strategy and segmentation. Lesson six is on understanding performance with analytics and benchmarks, where we'll touch on how to interpret data to understand the health of your emails and where there are opportunities for growth and improvement. And in our final lesson, we'll be putting it all together and discussing the synergy of everything we've covered in order to have a well-oiled machine for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, let alone the entire calendar year. Email marketing is an indispensable channel for e-commerce, allowing brands to take ownership of their growth and have a direct line of communication with their customers. Other marketing channels like paid ads through Facebook advertising or Google ads place you at their whim and their rules on what you can show and to whom you can show it. With email, you own your contact list and the revenue you generate while having pretty much free reign to send what you want and when you want. Now don't get me wrong, there is a time and place where paid ads are extremely instrumental in brand growth, particularly with prospecting and driving new site visits, but nothing quite compares to the ROI you can see from email. We see it as so important that whether they like it or not, nearly every client we engage with as an agency involves email marketing in some facet, and specifically Clavio. We see Clavio as an email marketing powerhouse, which is both accessible and affordable. There are more expensive competitors, there are less expensive ones, but there isn't anyone else in the playing field that offers the best in class features for the price, which is user friendly and has both an incredibly responsive expert support team as well as thorough help documentation. Brands of all sizes up and down the e commerce food chain, from startups to enterprise level businesses, can leverage Clavio's suite of features to effectively control their customer journey. Now let's talk about the customer journey. E-commerce has changed the landscape of our shopping experiences. Opportunities are seemingly boundless, opening up a global market to brands that years ago would have to rely solely on local foot traffic. It's a truly remarkable shift that we've seen in the last few decades. However, with it, there are still some challenges. Seeing product firsthand, touching and interacting with it, trying on clothing, there are countless new challenges that have emerged. In many cases, brands have had the ingenuity to come up with some rather creative solutions. One of the keys to finding those solutions is understanding the customer journey and communicating with the customer at all of the critical junctures. Generally, the customer journey follows the typical e-commerce funnel, from acquisition to conversion and then retention. As it pertains to email, the task at hand on a fundamental level is to convert your site visitors into email subscribers and from email subscribers into customers. That's just the basics. Clavio allows you to easily build upon this framework to take it further, converting customers into repeat customers, repeat customers into VIPs and brand ambassadors. The possibilities are vast. So before we really get started with this course, it's important to understand all of the key touch points you want to have with your customers and start to roughly map out your brand's customer journey. This will make things much more streamlined as you get down to business with the setup. Of course, there's a bit of recommended preparation involved. First, do a bit of research. See what other brands are doing. 
Sign up for email lists of brands you like and admire. Maybe even look at brands you don't like. See what you find to be effective and how it will inform your approach to your own email marketing. Next, be certain to have your brand standards established. The logo, the color palette, the fonts, have that all situated. Now, quick note on fonts, however, there are some limitations. Out of the box, Clavio allows you to pick from WebSafe fonts, although you can use custom fonts in your emails. Check out the link to Clavio's documentation on loading in custom fonts. One thing to bear in mind, to complicate matters, there are several email clients or inbox providers that do not support custom fonts. For that reason, as an agency, when possible, we first recommend using WebSafe fonts as a compromise, or if it's really crucial, use imagery with text laid out graphically in the desired font. When you have a feel for the customer journey and the messaging you want to have at key points, begin working on developing the email copy, that is, email subject lines, preview text, body copy, and calls to action. It's important to speak directly and as personally as you can to the customer. You'll be able to use template tags and variables to dynamically include customer names, as well as all types of other data. So think about how to use that to your advantage. We'll touch on this further in our lesson on email templates. You'll also want to begin gathering image assets. Images help to set the tone and keep users engaged. Showing lifestyle imagery of product in use, graphic layouts, animated GIFs, there are tons of possibilities. Just keep in mind how the scale of an image might affect the user. Portrait orientation on a mobile device will cause the user to need to scroll more and could bury key content within the email. Also, too much imagery without text can seem spammy to email clients and that might filter things to the spam folder. We'll also be discussing deliverability in our lesson on email templates. So there are some recommended image specs. Landscape orientation, that is horizontal images, JPEG files, 72 DPI resolution, at least 600 pixels wide and no more than 2000 pixels tall, and file sizes should ideally be under 150 kilobytes to ensure fast loading. Now that we've covered details on what's needed for each email to contextualize where it will be applied, some of the automated email flows we often set up include the following. First, the welcome series flow. This one is key. This is designed to be the first touch point with a subscriber. In the customer journey, we're looking to convert this subscriber into a purchaser. It's all about having an impactful narrative to introduce the brand, the values, and reeling them in across a series of three or more emails. Then there's the customer thank you flow. And it's a simple follow-up after a customer purchases with messaging customized to whether it's a first-time purchase or a repeat purchase, so you can speak directly to their stage of the customer journey. Now, a big mistake that I see here is that brands often simply just say thank you and that's it. It falls a bit flat. Always strive to provide value in each and every email. If you have care instructions, blogs with more information on the product use and maintenance, recipes, whatever it may be, find ways to continue to keep your customers involved, especially when they're extremely attentive to your communication after a purchase. Then there's the customer win back flow. As the name implies, win back an existing customer with this email flow. You reach out to customers who have lapsed from a typical window of time for making a repeat purchase, and you entice them into doing so. Then there's the happy birthday flow, because who doesn't like a birthday present? If you're collecting birth date information in a sign-up form, it's simple to automate and send a coupon code. Then there's the VIP reward flow. And once you identify criteria for who qualifies as a VIP, whether it's a certain number of purchases or a certain dollar threshold spent, acknowledging their loyalty and rewarding them for it can go a long way. There are additional flows that will not require any images to be supplied. Often, they're best suited to use Clavio's dynamic content blocks to serve images of the product the user was interacting with. These include the following. Abandoned cart. You've likely seen them before. Once you enter your information at checkout and don't complete a purchase, these automated emails are meant to try to seal the deal. Browse abandonment. Similarly, sending an email when you track a subscriber's activity on a specific product can be a often a deciding factor in completing a purchase. Back in stock, for brands that have products that go out of stock and get replenished, this flow can be tremendous. There are apps devoted to this functionality alone, but it's built right into Clavio. And the sunset flow, this is meant to help identify subscribers, 
who aren't engaged with your emails. It will apply a tag to subscriber profiles, and you can choose to not send to them in order to help open rates, or you can suppress them from the contact list altogether. Now, an important note, before you even begin thinking about sending any campaigns, if you're migrating from another email service provider, know that you need to build in some time to warm your sending infrastructure. So what does that mean? Well, if you're sending from a new email service provider, there's an update to your DNS records. Inbox providers that see a sudden change might cause your emails to bounce. That in turn can affect your deliverability and can have some significant and lasting ramifications. It can prevent your emails from hitting inboxes and instead relegate them to the spam folder. We'll cover this in some more detail in our lesson on campaign strategy and segmentation. You can also check out Clavio's guide to warming your sending infrastructure, but ultimately, make sure you plan accordingly and give yourself some leeway of a week or two after you've set up and launched your flows before you start your full email campaign cadence. So let's recap. First, if you've made it this far, you're probably already fairly well convinced as to why Clavio is such a great email service provider. From direct agency experience with dozens of brands, we've consistently seen results and believe in it wholeheartedly. So, as you get ready to continue on this course, get prepared. Start considering your customer journey and the automations we recommend. From there, begin working on copy and gathering imagery for the email content. Plan enough time to get everything set up and to have ample time for a warming period. In our next lesson, we'll start walking through the fundamentals of setting up an account and making sure it is integrated with your Shopify store. Mm -hmm.